you guys she is here lily chang just arrived so let's open her up together okay oh my gosh she's here i'm praying she looks okay like i am legit worried right now because she's expensive um but here's her box it is gorgeous the box itself here is not too big let's get her out you guys here she is um i hope she looks okay hey cuties peachy here welcome back to a new video in this video as you just saw in my previous clip we're gonna unbox and review miss lily chang now i still haven't seen her i've cut all the tapes and stuff but i am legit scared to see her i like i want her to look so good like perfect please 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 because i just i've been waiting so long to get her and like she isn't cheap like she costs like 80 bucks or something and like you know i'm not in a comfortable money situation right now where i can say yes let me get a second one because i can because i cannot so <laughs> she's my only one right now and i need her to look good comprende thank you <laughs> let's just pray together that she looks okay so let's look at her box first i'm gonna have to actually zoom out a little bit because um yeah it's a big box here is her box it is fully like really chromatic it has like a ton of sheen to it um here at every corner we have the printed on little uh gold edges they're not real those plastic ones the glue oh my gosh the glue i hated the glue on like the twins box and judd dawson's box like it's just it gets everywhere and i hated the way it felt like i hated it so like i prefer it being printed here but the detail here on the front is gorgeous we see lily cheng here on the left obviously and then here we have an ongoing pattern of tiger stripes on the sides and then on the back, we have a full-on portrait of Miss Lily Chang here, like surrounded by clouds. The art style, that design just looks divine. I love how she's kind of hidden away with her fan, you know, her name down here. Um, here we can see it says special edition. I love that. And then, yeah, nothing else really to point out. She does have a bow up here um, in mine didn't come with the tag i'm disappointed i really wanted to keep the tag maybe you don't need the tag obviously but um yeah i i, I would have liked it you know i paid money i would have liked to have my whole the whole ordeal and the the tag was part of it so but what can you do you know maybe amazon just leaves off the tag because it's easier um or maybe mine just fell off who knows so let's look at her together now the first time ah, moment of truth oh and this is a actual like hard plastic yeah it velcros so, there we go <laughs> here's lily chen oh my gosh look at her you guys wow okay okay i'm pleased by her face her face looks good i'm worried for her hair i just saw do you see that? It's a little wonky. I'm worried. She looks stunning. Let's look at her box now better. So here is her full on look, her full on view of the box. We have Lily Chang here on the left and we have her second outfit on the right. The actual like um, format is the same like a normal rainbow high box, but it's just a little more zhuzhed up. You know what I'm saying? Here at the bottom, we don't have artwork so you can actually see it says year of the tiger we have her name with little tiger emblem here and then here on one side we have her full-on artwork splendid gorgeous and then here on the other side we can see her little bio it says in honor of her heritage and the rich history of lunar new year lily chang designed her very own year of the tiger outfit so yeah, it has it in different languages because I did get this from Amazon Spain. Um, but I love this floral design. It's just so pretty. I'm gonna keep this box. Like I really want to keep it. So yes, let me try to unbox her as gently as possible. And I'll be right back with Miss Lily Chang. And we're back with the lovely Lily here in person. Now, I don't even know where to start. There's just so much going on with her. Like. Oh my god okay sorry her fans precious okay let's actually start off with the fan um so her fan you can actually put it in her hand you actually just slot it in 
these three fingers right here because they're all molded together. There's a little thing here that fits right into those fingers. You just slide it in. And once it's in, you can actually turn it around all the way and kind of position it and it stays, it keeps its position. Well, you know, usually. So like you can do like this or you can just kind of do like that. It's really cute. Um, and it's really awesome that you can actually like let her hold it without like an elastic band or something. But so the actual fan is a real life working fan. Like, look at this, it's real fabric. It has a real actual like system like you can actually close it it's actually a working fan like excuse moi like how is that like that is crazy that is so cute um obviously it's delicate so like don't do this like too many times because i feel like over over the years you know it might get a little worn off here at this uh, at the places where it folds but i mean come on that is just that is iconic look at this fan it's in a really deep red and there's a rainbow written across it in gold um yeah the rest of the plastic is pretty much just in black look at i almost did it with like one hand such a good prop for like photos um and it does it gets better because here at the end there's this like little tassel or something like i don't even know what it's called it's a really nicely woven like little um knot i think is this a knot a type of knot it has like a couple of golden beads as well it's really detailed really nice so that was the fan let's move on to her other things she comes with we have her hanger and her pants hanger right here i do believe these are in a new shade of red just a deeper shade than rubies then we have her brush that's also in a deeper shade of red it's not the same like ruby's brush they're all different and of course her doll stand matches it completely now we gotta talk about her second outfit and i'm actually not gonna i don't think i'm gonna switch her into the second outfit because um i don't want to mess up her hair and i feel like the more i touch her the more i'm gonna ruin her so i'm sorry y'all but i'm not gonna put her in her second outfit but I'm sure you've seen pictures of her in her second outfit anyway, so like, it's not like we're missing out on anything new or special. Um, but I gotta say, the fabric feels really nice. Like this jacket alone, it feels like really a quality. Like all the textiles they've chosen here are very thick, very nice, like they're very soft. Um, the jacket here itself is in a blue here for the torso and it has like a really nice gold fabric here at the bottom with some red stitching here it almost looks like a varsity jacket kind of like combined into like a traditional kind of um looking cut here with the with the um collar and then how it's like kind of going to the side here definitely something like traditional inspired with a like varsity kind of jacket twist i really like that combination of modern and traditional styles so yeah, here we have these gold little clutches, little openings. Um, they don't work, they're just decoration, but they look really nice. There's two of them here, RH embroidered here in red and white. And then obviously this, what I just mentioned, is in a really nice pleathery red material. The collar is in the same fabric that's used in the, at the bottom. And then the sleeves are like fully embroidered. Um, both of them, no, just one is embroidered with the number 22 here. And then the rest, like all the, the whole white portion here, I don't know what you call this type of like um, design, but it's like actually stitched into the fabric with silver thread. And it actually forms like a tiger pattern. Can you see that? That's awesome. On both sleeves, of course. Oh, on this one, there's actually no tiger. Wow, so they're both unique. That's awesome. This one has flowers and stuff. And the cuffs are also in that same material. Uh, it Velcros in the back, so it has a really nice finish to the front. And then the dress is actually like really simple. The dress itself is one piece, obviously. And then the collar here is lined in gold. 
as are the sleeves that are very short. Um, and then everything else is just this like really nice red fabric that again has a similar kind of ongoing uh, print, uh, not print, but like stitching detailing here. And this one, it's since it's all in red, you can't see it as well, but it's still like protruding. Like you can still clearly make out that there's a common theme here stitched onto the red fabric. You can see the tiger right here and then more flowers here everywhere else. Here at the bottom, we have some really nice detailing in gold. We have kind of looks like a slit here. And then the slit is kind of like um, surrounded by these like beads in gold. Um, they're, I think, just glued on, but I do feel like they're stuck on there pretty well. So don't worry too much. I like the cut. It's really Again, traditional, but still like with, with a modern twist. That's actually her second outfit. It's only two pieces, but I feel like you do have a lot of mix and match options because this can double as a jacket or as a top by itself. And then you have a second um, bottom piece here, but you can also use this one as a dress or cover it up with something else and use it as a kind of skirt. So you have options. So we have her second pair of shoes. Um, these are lovely, but I do feel like this heel right here, do you see that? <laughs> it's gonna pop off any second. It's really not stuck on there very well. Like it's very wobbly. You can see it kind of like ripping already. Um, and I can feel it's not stable. So that's a shame. But again, the design of these shoes, I mean, look how iconic. They're in a, they're like a black uh, platform heel and they have gold details all around. And then they also have like really nice gold details here at the platform, some red lines and red like swirls, kind of like clouds. And then here at the side, there's obviously like a tiger even in gold that is iconic, that's so precious. Um, kind of reminding me of like old vases and stuff like that, that just like the design is so like iconic to me. Obviously these are tied by ribbon, so that's really pretty too. And now we move on to the one and only Lily Chang. Let's start with her face. I really don't want to move her too much, but like I'll try my best. <laughs> so here is her face. Look at how precious her face is. I feel like I definitely got one with good makeup. Look at her makeup here. I was always like concerned with, especially like the, the inner corner here, the makeup is just so intricate and defined. So I was worried definitely like I would get one that's botched, but no, I'm glad to say that her makeup here is very on point. So her makeup's very intricate. She has like a dark kind of red line here at the bottom waterline. And then her eyeshadow kind of goes from a red to a gold here. We even have some gold glitter. It kind of fades off like very in a really sharp line. That's really nice. And then she does have like her eyelashes, obviously. She also has these red dots below her eyes. Her eyes are in a really light brown color. She is also wearing a little bit of blush. It's very faint, but so nice. Oh, and she does have eyebrows, obviously, but they're very hidden and, but you can kind of see here. But her bangs are gelled like heavily, so I'm not gonna move them. <laughs> but she also does have that little symbol on her forehead in red that I'm sure you've seen already. And then her lips, look at her lips. Obviously we can kind of see here, there's like a kind of dark, really dark shape here in the middle forming a heart. And then everything else on the top lip is in a really nice red shade. And then her bottom lip here, we can see it's in a really pale red. I love the gradient, just how it looks. It's, they've done a really good job here. I do think she has the, the same uh, overall face, like the eyes, the lips. Um, definitely looks like Simone's face sculpt. And here's actually Simone. I went and got her because I just really want to show y'all that this is the same face. Like the lips have the same shape. They're both very plump. The nose and then the eyes. I mean, look at that face shape. The the eye shape, look at that eye shape. It's identical. So these two definitely have the same looking face. Now moving on to her earrings. Obviously she wears these really huge iconic earrings. Um, they both are like Chinese characters, I believe. They're in red translucent and up here there's even like some gold detailing 
painted on. They're both different. They're both different characters. Um, and I believe they say flame and tiger. So I'm not sure if both these characters together um, make up flame and tiger or if this one says flame and this one says tiger or vice versa. I'm not sure, but I do know they, they you know, they mean flame and tiger um, in, in any which case. It does have these two loose strands in front of her face. They are both heavily gelled and I try my best, but you know. Up top, she has these two beautiful buns. And just like I thought, this one's really messed up here at the bottom. I wish they could just stay in this position, but sadly, that's not the case. So I'm just gonna have to pretend that they look perfect. <laughs> but they almost look like fans. It's done very neatly, very nicely. Um, thankfully, I feel like they look okay otherwise than this part right here. Um, and then on each side, there's a little streak of orange and gold tinsel going up into the actual buns. In the back here, we can see these two golden sticks kind of like protruding from her skull. I'm not sure if this is like a poppy situation where um, her butterfly clips were like literally clipped into her head sculpt or if these are just like uh, really heavily stuck in there and they're not actually like pegged in there. I'm not sure, but I do feel like these two are very sturdy, but you can turn them around. They have this really nice gold flower design here up top and then they even have these two like uh, red strings with the golden beads hanging from the bottom as well. Now her actual hair is jet black and it does have some streaks of orange and gold tinsel, like I mentioned. I like that they were trying to go for like the kind of like tiger stripes, you know, in the back. I believe that's what they were trying to go for. <laughs> and I do see what they were doing. And I do feel like I see it. It definitely gives off that kind of tiger stripe vibe. But the tinsel, I'm not so sure about. It does look a little messy at certain angles, but um, yeah. Otherwise, her hair is in a pretty good condition. It is very soft. It does come heavily gelled, but again, all I did was comb it out and it looks really soft and natural. So you don't have to wash it necessarily. And moving on to her first outfit here, she is wearing this top and this skirt. They are two separate pieces. And then she's wearing this huge belt that's in kind of like a um, gold fabric here that kind of resembles like crocodile um, skin or something like that in that kind of same vein. Um, it is tied together with a red ribbon that's not actually functioning. It is closed with Velcro in the back. And then all the edges are lined in a black pleather material. It looks so bougie. Um, we also have these four strings hanging from the ribbon as well with gold studs glued on there. There's four, so there's two in the front and then there's two in the back. Now, like I mentioned, um, this skirt and the top are two separate pieces, but they do share the same overall stitching a design and um, theme. So here we have some gold flowers. Here we can see the face of a tiger in red stitches. Looks gorgeous. Look at that face. And then in the back, we can see another tiger and some more flowers. Her top is gorgeous. It has more, it has, it's very, it looks very intricate, but it basically has um, the same kind of fabric like the bottom in the same kind of like gold detailing here with the flowers, but it is kind of like overall trimmed and lined with the same kind of black plattering material like here and here at the collar and then here at the sleeves. The sleeves are super short once again, but the overall silhouette and like cut is so iconic. Like look at that. The top here, we even have like the other one of the clasps that I talked about on her first uh, on her second outfit jacket here. It's the same one, but here it's used kind of like a going across, like it's kind of holding her top piece here together. I love the effect it has. It's again, non-functioning, but it looks really realistic. And overall, like, I love it. Just, I love the way it looks. And then we have her bangles here, her bracelet. On this hand, we have a jade bracelet with another Chinese character, I feel like here in the in the middle. Uh, again, I don't know what it means, but um, yeah, really small. Um, and then we have second bracelet that's in gold. Look at this tiger kind of like holding it together. So iconic with the green eyes and the stripes even. 
painted on. I love the details. And then here we have another gold bracelet, but this one has a lot of like painted on jewels in silver. I love it. She does have painted on red nails. And I'm happy to say that these are actually done very well. On the other hand, she has her other three bracelets. First up, we have just kind of like almost like a kind of string. It's a red kind of string tied together, kind of looks like it at least. It has gold beads here at the at the at the end. And then here it even has this little chibi looking tiger iconic. She has this silver bracelet with a lot of details here as well. And then her last bracelet is in white. And it is again, kind of like a tiger here. We can see the face, another tiger face, and then the stripes all along the bracelet. I like that they kept on with the paint job. Like that's amazing, honestly. And again, her nails done very well. Lastly, but not least, we have her really chunky, shoes here um they almost look like kind of sandal like a mix of like a sandal wedge like the way it's kind of um strung up here with the ribbon which is gold and it's actually like actual working um string here that you're actually supposed to uh weave throughout and then kind of tie together here at the top it has these gold beads at the end as well but it looks so good like look at this it looks so intricate it looks so nice. Front here is fully covered in red and then it has some gold detailings here at the side. Here at the front we have our H, the emblem, at the bottom here. It does have some molded on rope here in red to kind of hold it together. And the actual platform soles are in black here and then here we even have some more gold detailing and then here at the bottom, it's completely in red. We love a fancy shoe. <laughs> yeah, so overall, I will say Lily Chang. I mean, I knew I was gonna like her. Like, she's just from day one. I saw her stock photos. I saw her pictures. I knew I loved her face. I loved her kind of the everything she has going for her, her outfits, the details. Um, I love her. I love her doll stand, just the rich color of red they chose for her. Her first outfit is like overall, again, my definite favorite. Um, but her second outfit pieces also have a lot of potential, obviously. Oops, her, her fan just died. Um, yeah, her fan is amazing. Look at that fan. It's a real working fan. Come on, Mattel, take a note. Uh, I will say, like, is she worth the price? Like, she's expensive. Like, she's like 80 bucks. Um, I feel like, yeah, you know, if you're a collector, if you have Rainbow Idols, you're obviously going to want her as well. And I will say, yeah, go for it. She's worth it if you have the money, if you definitely want her um but if you want her but you can wait then definitely wait because you know there's nothing wrong with paying less uh because you know not everyone has the uh amount of money that is needed to buy her for the full price so yeah but she is definitely worth it to pick her up sooner or later um and to add to your collection but yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below let me know what you thought of lily chang here do you have her what was your experience with her and do you think she's worth the price let me know what you thought down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more rainbow high doll news doll reviews and episode reaction videos stay safe be kind up this next time stay peachy kisses